Hey friend, are you tired of being a spectator in your own life? Are you tired of playing small? Are you tired of living life with regrets? Are you ready to take control of your life? Listen, I got the secret sauce for you to help you to literally change your life in 90 days. No BS, no excuses. We're gonna show you how to get in control of your life so that, that way life bends to your will and you can get audiences raving to hear your message and hear your story. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. My friend, if you wanna take your life to the next level, the first thing that you gotta do is you've gotta change what you see. You have to be willing to change what you see because here's the truth. You have to see it before you see it or you'll never see it. I'm gonna say that again. You've got to see it before you see it or you'll never see it. And most of the time when I talk to folks who are stuck, who are in a rut, who wanna make a massive life change but they simply can't, the, one of the biggest problems that they have is what they see. So my friend, let me ask you a simple question. What is the vision that you have for the life that you really want and desire? You gotta get a vision for what you want. Scripture reminds us, without a vision, the people perish. So what do you see? What do you see in your future? What do you see as your ideal career? What do you see as your ideal job? What do you see as your ideal income? What do you see as your ideal life partnership? What do you see as your ideal relationship with your children? I want you to take a minute and write down right now, and you can even put some of your opinions in the comments. What are some things that you see as your ideal life? If you wanna change your life in 90 days, no BS, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta shift what you see because you cannot manifest what you cannot see. Does that make sense? So you gotta be willing to see something different and you have to see yourself more powerful, see yourself more brilliant. Have you ever seen that image of the little kitty cat that's looking in the mirror and, and a big lion is looking back at it? I love to use that image in keynotes because it's so powerful because that little kitty cat is looking at this, is looking in the mirror at itself, but the reflection that's coming back is a massive, massive lion. What's the point? It's what you see that determines what you produce. My friend, it is so vitally important, all right, that you shift what you see. And nine times out of 10, you know the number one thing that's gonna stop you from seeing life in a bigger, badder, more profound and powerful way is your current situation. See, sometimes all we can see is the bills we gotta pay. Sometimes all we can see is, is, is what's due tomorrow. Sometimes all we can see is the life that we're currently in. And sometimes all we water is what we see. And if all you water is what you currently see, You'll never manifest the life that you want. See, whatever you water grows. Woo! I'm gonna say that again. My friend, whatever you water grows. So what are you looking at? What are you paying attention to? What do you see? What has your attention each and every day? Because nine times out of 10, what has your visual attention also has your internal intention. I'm gonna say that again. What, well, nine times out of 10, what has your visual attention also ends up getting your internal intention. Did you catch that? So epically powerful and so epically important. I really, really want you to take a moment right now and just close your eyes and see. Sometimes y'all, sometimes your eyes, watch this, can be your greatest enemy. Because if you look around and you look at your situation and your circumstance, you say, I don't live in the best place. I don't, I don't have the most m amount of money in my account right now. I, I, I don't have the right relationships that I want. So sometimes you have to be willing to shut these eyes so that your internal eyes can open. So sometimes you gotta just close your eyes and say, I see myself with unlimited income. I see myself with six streams of income in my speaking business. I see people lined up around the corner to get my books and products and resources. I see myself getting booked and paid high fees to do what I love. I see myself with well-respected friends in the industry. I see myself being interviewed on major national television. Sometimes you gotta close your eyes to what you see out there so that you can open your eyes to what you really believe in your heart. Remember this for the rest of your life. The greatest nation is your imagination. I'm gonna say that again. The greatest nation is your imagination. So if you wanna change your life in 90 days, every single day, instead of seeing what you don't want, see what you do want. Go get magazines and cut out pictures of the life that you want, the body that you want, the relationship that you want, the relationship with your kids that you want, right? The romantic partnership that you want, does that make sense, right? Get photos of the vacations you wanna take, get photos of, of, of you being in front of big audiences, the kinds of speaking engagement checks you want and see it every day. I have a vision board that I look at every single day. It's got representations of the things that I want in my life. So you have to change what you see. If you want to change your life in 90 days, no BS. First thing you got to do is you got to shift what you see. 
Second thing you gotta do, you gotta change your story. My friend, every single day, you might not realize this, but every single day there is a tape, there is a, a CD, there is a song, right? That is looping and it's playing in your head day in and day out over and over and over again. And most of us as human beings have a cycle, we have a story in our psyche about why we can have the things that we want. Those who are successful run a story every single day as to why they can have what they want and they get it. The people that are not successful, guess what? They have a story that plays in their head over and over again about why they can't have the life that they really want. So here's my question to you. What story are you constantly looping over and over and over again? I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not powerful enough, I'm not powerful enough. What story or do you keep, I'm, I'm too big, I'm too this, I'm too that. What story do you keep playing over and over in your head? Whatever that story is, it's only gonna keep you stuck. It's only gonna keep you where you actually are. It's not gonna shift you to where you really wanna be in the next 90 days. So if we wanna change your entire life in three months, I need you to change the tape that's playing. You know what psychologists and therapists and psychiatrists basically say? The average human being thinks 65,000 separate transactional thoughts every single day. 65,000 separate transactional thoughts every single day. My friend, there's a tape playing, there's a story that you're telling yourself because of what happened in my childhood, blah, 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 blah. Because of what happened to me in, in when I was in grade school, blah, 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 blah. Because of my last relationship, blah, 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 blah. Because of my last whatever, right? My last business or my last speech didn't go the way I wanted, blah, 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 blah. Or the last book that I wrote didn't sell the number of copies I want, blah, 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 blah. What story are you constantly telling yourself? Literally, thousands of times a day, family. If we have 65 separate th transactional thoughts per day and 85% of those tend to be negative, my friend, you gotta change the story you're telling yourself and you have to shift to a much more powerful story. A story that says, I am brilliant, I am strong, I am powerful. A story that says, I am worthy of the life that I desire. A story that says, people line up to hook me up with opportunities and open doors. A story that says, the best is yet to come for me. A story that says people love to celebrate who I am. A story that says audiences can't wait to hear my message. If you wanna change your life in 90 days, you gotta change what you see, and then you gotta change the story that you're constantly telling yourself, right? So I, I, I have signs all over my house, and one of my signs says people cannot wait to help you. Another one of the signs that I have in my house says that, listen, the world and the universe conspires to bless you. Imagine how powerful of a life I get to live because I keep telling myself that story. Does that make sense? People cannot wait for me to be incredible on stage. They can't wait to get all my resources afterwards. Do you know how incredible of a story that is? That story produces the outcome that I want over and over and over again. Does that make sense? So you gotta be willing to change your story. Hey, if you enjoy this video, listen, do me a favor, click the link below and pick up a copy of our brand new book, Platinum Presentations, 52 Tips to Speak with Confidence, Win Your Audience, and Grow Your Bank Account. The third thing you gotta be willing to change is what you say. My friend, listen, if we're, if, if we're in this speaking, public speaking and presentation and communication space, then communication is absolutely positively powerful. And you and I have to understand that it's not only important what we say to audiences, but it's 10 times more important what we say to ourselves. I'm gonna say that again. While it's very important what we say to our audiences, it's 100 times more important, 100x, what you say to yourself. You gotta start saying something different to yourself. If you wanna change your life in 90 days, every day you gotta get up and, and, and create powerful I am statements and you gotta declare them every day, multiple times throughout the day. When you get up and you go drive to the post office and check your mail, I am incredible, I'm powerful, I'm awesome, I'm necessary, I'm essential, the world needs me. And start to say that every single day, create a mantra of powerful I am statements. I am enough, I am wealthy, I have money coming in from every single direction, the north, south, east, and west. People can't wait to book me. People can't wait to buy my books and courses. People can't wait to enroll in my programs. What you say behind I am determines everything, my friend. So if you wanna change your life in 90 days, every single day, get up and say I am amazing, I am awesome, I am incredible. I am in demand as a speaker. 
as a communicator, as an influencer, as an expert. I am anointed, I am powerful, I am God's favorite child. See, I actually believe that stuff. Does that make sense? It's not just motivational hype or inspirational hype or peak performance, well, no, 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 no. This is stuff that high achievers, peak performers, I, all, I, all I do is spend my life around high achievers and high performing people. And guess what I've learned, y'all? They have mantras that they say all the time. I'm healthy, wealthy, wise, I am fit, I am in great shape. Uh, my, my, my body fights off negative dis-ease every day and keeps me in optimum health, right? I don't care what it is that your area of focus is, money comes into my bank accounts from every direction multiple times a month without my effort. Come on somebody, right? It's what you say that matters. So if you wanna take your life to that next level, if you wanna change your life in 90 days, number four, you gotta be willing to change your connections. That's right. <laughs> you gotta be willing to change your connections. You gotta be willing to shift, right? Wrote a whole best-selling book about this, shift into a higher gear, chapter eight, shift your posse because who you ride with matters. My friend, in a car, it really doesn't matter who's in the back seat, right? Have you ever been riding in the car and somebody in the back seat was kind of acting crazy? It didn't really matter. You said, hey, shut up, whatever. Look in the rearview mirror, tell them to shut up and you keep riding. It doesn't really matter who rides with you when you're in a car or an automobile or a truck or SUV or whatever. Who you ride with on the back of your motorcycle literally determines life or death. Who you ride with matters, my friend. So here's my question to you. Are you willing to change some of your connections? Because I guarantee you, if you want to shift your life in 90 days, one of the fastest ways to do it is to get around a couple of other people who also want to change their life in 90 days. Not stay around people who are satisfied with their whack life, okay? So I want you to shift away from people who are satisfied with mediocrity, who are satisfied with average, who are satisfied with ordinary, who are satisfied with status quo. You are no longer allowed to hang out with those folks. Does that make sense? And I only want you connecting with speakers, communicators, influencers, entrepreneurs, right? Career professionals who are about something, who are kicking butt and taking names, who are making great things happen, who are pushing the envelope. Does that make sense? Your connections matter. The folks that you spend your time with literally represent, they, 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 they say that the two most important decisions you can make in your life is what you do with your life, your life's purpose, and then number two, who you do your life's purpose with. That's your relationships and your connections. That's what, that's, that's what they say, y'all. So, so who are you connected to? See, let me ask you a question. See, here's what I firmly believe, right? People say that your net work determines your net worth. And I firmly believe that. It's the folks that you're surrounding yourself with that really determine the ultimate outcome you're gonna experience in your life. And here's one of the things that I've committed to a long time ago. I allow no negative people in my life whatsoever. If you're negative, if you're toxic, if you're self-defeating, if you have limiting beliefs, if you have all kinds of issues and drama, guess what? Friends, family, doesn't matter. You don't belong in my inner circle, you just don't. So if you're gonna take your life to that next level, if you're really gonna grow to the next level and you're gonna shift your life in 90 days, one of the fastest ways to do it is to change your connections and begin to start surrounding yourself with people who are going somewhere. Who are the folks that, are, listen, I teach this in chapter eight. There's only three kinds of individuals, mentors, mates, and mentees. Mentors are people who are on the highway of life, but they're just further down the road than you. A mate is someone who's on the same level. In other words, they just got on the highway, on the motorcycle of life with you, and y'all are kind of going down the highway together. A mentee is someone who hasn't gotten on the highway of life and business just yet, and all your life lessons you can teach and pour into them. My friend, those are the only three types of connections you need, mentors, Who's done what you're trying to do? You got to model excellence. You got to model the thing that you want. If you want to be an incredible speaker, you got to model incredible speakers. If you want to be an in-demand influencer, you want to be a best-selling author, model best-selling authors. When I made the decision that I wanted to be a Wall Street Journal USA Today best-selling author, I had to model, I had to find who's already done it. Who's already produced that result that I want. Does that make sense? When I made a decision that I wanted to be a seven and eight figure entrepreneur, I had to model people who had already done it. People had already made the decision that this is what they were, this is, they're already there. Success leaves clues, y'all, we just gotta go find them. I'm not asking you to, I'm not asking you to completely abandon some of the people that are in your life. What I'm saying is take an inventory of the folks in your life and get crystal clear as to whether these folks are adding to your life or subtracting from your life and only surround yourself with people that add. Does that make sense? So vitally important, right? You wanna change your life in 90 days? Number five, change your daily input. Every single day, I need you to start making different, more powerful, more profound inputs. Every podcast you listen to is an input. Every book that you read is an input. Every blog or article that you read is an input. Every movie or documentary that you study is an input. Does that make sense? 
the conversations that you entertain, inputs, right? Your social media scrolling, all that's inputs. What are the inputs that are going in? Because garbage in, garbage out. Excellence in, excellence out. Does that make sense? So if you wanna change your life in 90 days, begin to put new, powerful, profound inputs in that are gonna give you way better outputs. Cause watch this, your life is nothing but a snapshot of the result of the outputs of your life. So if you don't like the outputs, change the inputs. Does that make sense? You can tell on Wednesday if you ate corn on Monday. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for you to get that one. I'm gonna say it again. You can tell on Wednesday if you ate corn on Monday. I know it's a little graphic, but I think it's powerful. Inputs determine outputs. If you're sick of what's coming out of your life, change the inputs. And here's a bonus, friend. I promise you I was gonna give you this one. And this is gonna make you a lot of money as a speaker. And it's gonna get folks lined up to work with you. Every single day, I want you to take daily consistent action on the thing that you do want. Right, if we're gonna change your life in 90 days, no BS, I need you to get crystal clear about a couple things that you want. Say, I, I, I want more book sales. I, I, I want people to, 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 to call me more for speaking engagements. I wanna travel. I, 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 I wanna have an ideal and romantic love. I wanna have great personal friendships. I, I, I wanna be popular. I wanna be well-liked on social media. Whatever your want is, I wanna be a great parent, right? I wanna, be, I wanna do great in my academics. I wanna go get that advanced degree, right? I wanna learn a new language. Whatever it is that you want, find a way to take small daily action on that thing and do it every single day. You find a kid who's great at Xbox, how often does he or she play? Every single day. You find a top Olympic athlete that's a gold medalist, how often do they practice? Every single day. The secret to your success in changing your life in 90 days is you gotta be willing to do it every single day. My friend, if you commit to taking powerful, profound action every single day on the things that you want, there is no way that you cannot live the life of your dreams. Here's to you changing everything in your life in 90 days following this incredible secret sauce form. Can't wait to see you in the next video.